at point A, a ball is kicked at an angle to the horizontal. The vertical component of the velocity vector at the start at point A is 19.6 meters per second. If points B, C, D, E, and F are at one second intervals, what will be the vertical component of the velocity vectors at those points? Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Acceleration due to gravity is always vertically down. Even when we project kick an object at an angle with respect to the horizontal, for all points of the trajectory, acceleration along the vertical is equal to final velocity along the vertical minus initial velocity along the vertical divided by time. Remember, these are all velocities. This is acceleration. Acceleration is change of velocity divided by time. What is the acceleration along the vertical at point A? Negative 9.8 meters per second per second. What is the acceleration along the vertical at point B? Negative 9.8 meters per second per second. What is the acceleration along the vertical at point C? Negative 9.8 meters per second per second. What is the acceleration along the vertical at point D? Negative 9.8 meters per second per second. What is the acceleration along the vertical at point E? Negative 9.8 meters per second per second. At point F, negative 9.8 meters per second per second. Don't forget, positive x is defined as to the right, negative y is vertically down. So acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. That means every second, the vertical velocity components change by negative 9.8 meters per second. So if we have a starting velocity that is pointing up, whatever that number is, add negative 9.8 to it, and we get the velocity after one second. So let's start the game. Our initial vertical velocity vector component is positive 19.6. So positive 19.6 plus negative 9.8. And what is that equal to? 9.8 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity is how much your vertical velocity component is going to change. It changes by negative 9.8 every second. So what happens in the next second? So our, our velocity is now 9.8. So 9.8 plus 9.8 minus 9.8 is 0. So we take the 0 and add negative 9.8 to it. And what do we get? Negative 9.8. What does it mean, negative 9.8? We are on our way down. It's pointing down, that's all, all right? One second later, what happens? We take the negative 9.8, and what do we add? We don't add positive 9.8, we still add negative 9.8. And what do we get? Negative 19.6. One second later, we take negative 19.6 and then add, what do we add? Negative 9.8. And what do we get? Negative meters per second, meters per second, meters per second, meters per second, meters per second. Where are we? At A, it was 19.6. When we go from A to B, it is one second. At B, what happens? Our velocity along the vertical 
has gone down by 9.8. So this is at B. Where are we when it comes to zero velocity along the vertical? We are at point C. And then we are at D, at E, and at F. So A to B, change of velocity along the vertical. Initial is A, final is B. What is the change? 9.8 minus 19.6, and that is negative 9.8. From B to C, from B to C, what is the change of the velocity vector along the vertical? It is from B to C, final is C, initially is B, 0 minus 9.8, and that is negative 9.8. From C to D, what is the change of the velocity vector along the vertical? It is negative 9.8 minus 0. It is negative 9.8. From D to E, from D to E, what is the change of the velocity vector from what is the change of the velocity vector along the vertical? It is from D to E. E is the final minus 19.6 final minus initial what is the initial negative 9.8 negative 19.6 plus 9.8 and that is negative 9.8 from e to f what is the change of the velocity vector along the vertical it is f is negative 29.4 minus what is at point E, negative 19.6. And that is negative 29.4 plus 19.6. And that is negative 9.8. This is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.